welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I saw a video of Kylie on YouTube, I believe it was a folks YouTube channel, where she showed us, I think it's her daily makeup routine, like tips and tricks and how she applies it, what she applies, and I was like, you know what? I love the look, let's recreate it. So I tried to do everything she did. Of course, I do not have all the products she uses, so I'm just, you know, I used all the products that I have, and this is what I came up with, and I actually like it. So if you want to see what I used and how I did it, then please keep on watching. It is so freaking hot in my room, it's not even fun to film. It is now 8.30 in the morning, and all my windows are open, but the lighting here, it, ugh, so hot and I'm, don't get me wrong i love summer but not when i'm filming it sucks so i gotta make the best out of it and this wig is not filling me today do you see that i mean who would agree to you all right you guys let's get started um i saw that she started off doing her brows then her eyeshadow and then her face and i'm all for that because you know i do the exact same thing so that's what we're gonna do um i'm gonna use the anastasia uh ooh, Jesus. Anastasia brow with eye pencil, eyebrow pencil because I saw her using an eyebrow pencil. It was a black one, so I'm assuming that it is this one, but you know, the products were not in the description box, so you know. She actually has a very like arched brow, so that's what we're gonna do. But for me, it's kind of difficult because I'm letting my eyebrows grow and like the hairs are all over the place actually. So I'm gonna do my best. And then she makes it a little bit more defined with some concealer. And I think she's using her own concealer, but I am using the NYX cream, what is it, above and beyond full coverage concealer, which is my favorite uh, to use for my brows. I don't like it underneath the eye, but for my brows it is perfect. And of course my MAC 212 brush, because that is the best um, eyebrow brush, because it's flat and it's extremely thin, so that's why I like it. A little bit of concealer to conceal as an eyeshadow base. Uh, by the way, it is not the same uh, that I use underneath my brows because that one is way too light for my eyeshadow base and I don't like the way it blends. So I'm just gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Medium Beige and then I'm gonna use some translucent powder to set it. And I'm using the RCMA powder. All right, so in the video, she didn't really use a lot of eyeshadow, just a nice like uh, gold tone, warm tone. So I'm all for that. But she uses her new palette that will be out this summer, I believe. Um, but I'm gonna try and recreate the look using the Morphe matte palette, the warm palette. And I'm gonna start with, I think this one, I think like, a, or this one, no, this one. I'm gonna start with this one, like a very uh, warm orange tone in my crease. And then she uses a darker brown, so I think I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use these two first. Just as an eyeshadow base. Yeah, that's it up. And then I'm gonna use the brown shade in my lower crease. She said like a cut crease, but I think she meant like a very soft eye look because it's not really a cut crease, even though you're applying a darker shade in your lower crease. It's just gonna give your eyes a little bit of definition. Well, maybe it is a cut crease, like a soft cut crease. I don't know, I'm just rambling. I'm gonna shut up and just tell you that she applies the darker shade in her lower crease. But I'm gonna switch to the Morphe, uh, the same palette, but then shimmer, and mine looks like crap because my palette fell on the ground. Of course, what's new, I drop everything. Anyway, for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna use this shade right here. And then she uses a gold on her eyelids. Um, yeah, I think it's about this shade, yeah. And then she uses or also an orange shade. So I think I'm first gonna use this one for my eyelid and then I'm gonna go in with this one. But let's just see how it looks and then we can decide. And she's not using a brush, she is using her finger. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. But my nails are a bit longer, but that's fine. Only for like the inner part of my eye, I'm gonna use a brush because my nails are way too long. 
All right, so I just uh, watched the part of the eyeshadow and I'm not gonna use a brush for this shade because in her inner corner, she uses that orange shade with a brush. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so I think this orange shade is a bit too light. It doesn't do anything. Um, hers is much brighter, so we're gonna go in with this one. There we go. Okay, so I did my other eye and then I realized that I actually forgot to highlight my brow bone. So we're still gonna do that. Okay, so in the video, I didn't see anything about her lashes, but I think she was wearing eyelash extensions. So for now, I'm just gonna use some fake eyelashes and these are the one by Primark and they're called Kylie. So I thought that would be a nice thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's kind of the same, right? I think mine are a bit more full, but... Alrighty, so the eyes are almost done, um, except for uh, underneath, but she didn't do a lot of there. Um, she wiped away her eyeshadow, her fallout. I don't really think I have that, so we're just gonna do foundation. Um, she uses the new Marc Jacobs um, something drops. I believe it's kind of illuminating drops. I don't have that, so I'm gonna use the one by Iconic, and I'm gonna mix it with my foundation, and I'm gonna use the two Face born this way in sand and then a little bit of the iconic glue. By the way, no primer, so the neck as well. Is it too light? Blend it out with my beauty blender. To conceal, she uses first a beige color to cancel out any darkness. I'm using medium beige by Ellie Girl, and then I'm gonna use a yellow shade, which is going to be a medium uh, tart shape tape, of course. What else? I think my chest is a bit darker on my shoulders. If I go into the sun, like one day in my garden, I am like tanned. I will get three to four shades darker doing summer. Not even joking. Still a little bit of tart shape tape, not too much. For me, not too much. Set it with some translucent powder. Oh wait, she also applied some concealer on the bridge of her nose, so we're gonna do that as well. Wow, that's not even a straight line. <laughs> For powder, she is using the one from Chanel, which is, I believe, a sunscreen powder, which doesn't really make sense to me. I mean, SPF in a powder, is it really gonna protect your skin? I'm not sure, but I'm gonna use my favorite, the one by Charlotte Tilbury. Alrighty, time to contour, to bronze, and I'm gonna use this soft brown shade. It is the one from JLo in collaboration with Inglot, and it is in the shade Coco 1. And I'm gonna use my Morphe M530. Just underneath my cheekbones. No way, I would go all the way, but... Hmm. Okay, I like that. Normally I would go like this, but she just applies it underneath the cheekbones and then goes over it with blush, which I'm not really a fan of, but we'll see how that works. Time for some baking, and of course I'm using the RCME translucent powder. So Kylie uses a lot of blush, um, a pink tone. For me, that is way too light. So I'm gonna use a pinkish, like dark pink tone, more of like a coral shade. It's by Sigma and it's called the Aura Powder Face Powder. And I'm gonna apply that right here with a MAC 129. Ooh, that's pink. Wow, okay, hmm, panicking. I'm not gonna go overboard with the blush like she does because on my, on my face it just doesn't look that good. So. Let's do some lips. So no, we're not gonna do lips yet. We're gonna do the eyes first and we're gonna go back in with this orange shade and I'm gonna apply it like until here, like the inner corner and then I'm gonna stop here because that's what she did. Oop, I dropped something. By the way, I think the orange shade she was using was a shimmery one, but I'm not sure. I couldn't see it, so. I'm going also back into that brown matte shade and apply that underneath. So it's like one complete look. 
<laughs> now let's do some lips. So what I could see on her video is that she was using a lip liner and it was a pretty like a brown cool toned liner. I don't have that. Um, I think it's like Whirl by MAC is a color like that. I don't have it. But I do have the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in Flirt which is a new shade but kind of a cool tone. And then I'm gonna go over it with, I think this one by JLo or Myth by MAC, I'm not sure. And no, I'm not gonna do this with my eyes closed. Are you kidding me? A little bit of a myth in the center. Okay. Oh my God, did I just forgot to highlight my face? Are you kidding me? That's weird. She uses her own highlighter. I don't have that, so I'm just gonna use my favorite. This one is Glow Goals by Nika Tutorials and Ofra Cosmetics. And I need to get me a new one because I hit pen with a small brush. Let's wipe this away. And last but not least, some setting spray. And I'm gonna use the Iconic London, which is my favorite at the moment, the Prep Set Glow. And I'm using the darker shade. I believe it's called, I don't know, Ron Storchon? Oh no! <laughs> what is wrong with me? No mascara. Just a little bit though. So yeah guys, that was the makeup tutorial or recreation or however you want to call it. Um, I am living for this look. I like it. It's it's very summer. It's very light. Um, I even like the blush and I'm not a blush fan. So yeah, this is it. I hope uh, this video was helpful. Like if you want to recreate her look and you don't have the products just like I don't have them, maybe you have the Morphe palette because it's a pretty popular one, then you will be able to recreate it. I really enjoyed making this video and I really enjoy the way my makeup looks. I have to do some things today. I have to go outside and I'm just gonna leave my makeup the way it is. So that's a good thing. Anyway, if you are new to my channel and you wanna see more videos and I'm gonna make a lot more videos because now I have a little bit of time left. So that's a good thing. Then please hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would like it, I would appreciate it. And I wanna thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you soon.